Lauren Bacall? Well, she's an absolute darling, my goodness. In The Petrified Forest, um, she keeps, they keep quoting from Francois Villon in the play, and I scoured the second-hand bookshops of Hollywood Boulevard for a volume of, of Francois Villon's poetry, which I gave to her uh, on the evening of our performance. She was a lovely person to work with. I've heard people say that she's difficult and problematical, but I certainly never saw that at all. And she gave us a wonderful party uh, uh, at their house, and they had a few of the neighbors in, like Judy Garland and Frank Sinatra and Spence Tracy. And I'm just a kid from Ohio, <laughs> and I just and I used to see her every once in a while. Uh, I used to run into her in an airport, and she'd always stop and talk. I just enjoyed knowing her more than I can say. Well, I think I've told you in the, in the text about, about Humphrey Bogart. In the final analysis, Humphrey Bogart was a complete gentleman, and I really mean that. He was. He was fair. Uh, he had a sharp tongue, and he loved to tease. He loved it, and he loved it best if you responded. If you didn't respond, that kind of disappointed him. He liked you to come back at him, do you know? But I enjoyed knowing, and he was wonderful. He was a natural actor. He didn't have to work very hard, I don't think. Or maybe he'd worked so hard that by then he didn't have to. But he was, and aside from the dif differences that I had about the language and some of the lines, which were perfectly natural, I understood them. <laughs>